She's a visual anthropologist, the singer, researcher, writer, um, nonfiction writer, fiction writer, I mean, multi-talented. But when you look at those papers, you get to see the letters, you get to see her expressing um, those ideas. Um, in a very straightforward, direct, sometimes I'm gonna hurt your feeling kind of way. <laughs> Many students today are reading Zora's works in high school. And this is something that was unheard of. It, you'd say even 15, 10, 15 years ago, you just didn't have that as much. So when we brought them here and we said, look, these are the works, these are the notes, these are some of the letters from this woman, Zora Neale Hurston, they were really excited about it. The collection contains about a thousand items in total, including individual letters and uh, photographs. Some of the materials as they were burned appear to have been burned right through the center and how easily they could have been completely destroyed. Seeing what's left, it's like the remnants of somebody's life that is very poignant to me. It just raises so many questions about what could have been, what might have been, how things could have been differently, how, how things could have turned out differently for, for Hurston and for us. And even today, we appreciate them, but I don't know if people really appreciate how important they are, the, 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 the substance in those papers and the things that they could get out of it to learn about um, women at the time, um, African-American history and culture at the time, politics at the time. She had a lot of foresight based on her experiences as a cultural anthropologist. And she put all of those things to bear, not only in her fiction, but you know, in her nonfiction writing and in these letters. It was special to be able to touch those, to see that this woman was thinking independently. She was confident in her opinion. She wasn't really thinking <laughs> about what you thought, but she was expressing herself. You know, people often tell me that I have the best job in Florida, and I don't disagree. I think that being able to uh, see and touch and interact with these materials that are from another period of history, they help me tell my story, and it helps researchers understand things about society, about history, and put things in a, in a critical historical perspective that I think is a priceless thing to have.